Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Sierra Hobbies. In this video I'll be assembling, painting and weathering the 135th scale Challenger 2 British Main Battle Tank from Rifle Models. I painted the uh, tail lights with the Tamiya clear red and then I uh, brushed on liquid mask and that will protect it when I do the main painting and then when it's all dry I just get a toothpick and scrape off that masking makes it a lot easier This PE part is actually Y10 and on here they have Y1 here they have Y12 and that's actually Y7 so that's Y7 and that's Y10 I mean, you can still see what the part is anyway, but anyway. I'll paint and weather the fuel drums separately before I uh, stick them onto the tank. It'll make it a lot easier.
okay I've got one side tracks on it was a bit fiddly but I managed to get it on alright I'll have to take it off again when I uh, paint it when I do the weathering uh, actually works see that wasn't too bad I won't glue the driver hatch because in case I uh, decide to get the tank crew for this kit I want to be able to pop the driver in there so I'll leave it loose like that and you can pop it open like that I decided to glue the hole, the upper hole, onto the uh, lower hole and I made sure that I, I was able to take the tracks off so I can paint them so it seems okay, I might have a bit of trouble here but it, uh, if you take off the driving sprocket and then uh, just have to fill around with this bit here to get it out of the uh, front uh, front guard there and it's the same when you put it on you have to fill around with it but you can, you can get it on and off this PE part here gave me a bit of trouble so it looks a bit butchered but then um, that could be part of some damage I guess I don't know yeah there's a few more parts I've got to put on to the uh, upper hole before I start onto the turret Okay, I've completed the model. I've um, I've left this uh, commander's hatch loose because I want to put in the uh, periscopes after I've painted it. So I'll leave, leave that off for now. Um, I've made the gun. I'm going to paint that separately. Uh, the driver's hatch. I'll just leave that loose in there because um, in case I decide to get the crew figures for this later on. Attach the. Uh, I haven't glued the drums in place because I'm going to do them separately, weather them, and same with the side armor. I've uh, I've kept these off. I'll paint these separately and stick them on because I've got to remove the track and wheels when I paint it. So that's it, pretty much complete. Also the um, periscopes in here, I'll put them in after I've painted it.
I can fit them through underneath the uh, turret. I've put some um, masking, liquid masking on the uh, lens, on the optics here, here and here. So when I spray it, after I've sprayed it, I just scrape it off with a toothpick. So that's pretty much it. I might um, might make some uh, antennas for these later on. Okay, so that's it. Okay, I've primed everything now using Mr. Hobby's Mr. Surfacer 1000. So next I'll be applying the uh, shadow coats. I've sprayed the field drum using Mr. Hobby Super Iron 2. And then I'm going to do spray AK Warn Effects. That'll be the first chipping layer on the field drum. And then I'll spray it with uh, Dark Iron XF84. So I've done the first chipping layer on the field drum. So I'll spray it again with the uh, chipping effect and then I'll spray NATO green and maybe uh, vary it with a bit of uh, XF81 and then I'll do some more chipping after that. Okay, I've clear coated the fuel drums and I'm going to apply some panel line, black panel line, some streaking effects and fuel stains. So I've sprayed the tracks with iron bar, sorry, dark iron XF84. Then I'm going to paint the uh, brush on the uh, pads with Tamir's uh, XF85 rubber black. And then I'll give it a clear coat. And then I'll use. Uh, AK light rust wash Okay, <clears throat> I've done the uh, pads and now I'll give that a clear coat before I put the uh, rust wash on it.
Okay, so I've applied the rust wash on the um, track connecting rods on the on the sides through the center and <clears throat> on the inside there. So next, I'm going to uh, dry brush. Uh, dry brush super iron just onto the end of the track connecting rods here so we'll do that next Next I'm going to brush on some Tamiya weathering pigment here just on the uh, rubber treads
So I've painted the wheels with uh, rubber black, to me it's rubber black, and then highlight the uh, center with a uh, deck tan because I didn't have any white so that was the lightest. Then I spray NATO green and a bit of, um, I think it's dark green XF81 just very lightly and now I'm, I'm dry brushing over the uh, bolts over the nuts there with uh, XF57 buff just dry brushing over lightly I don't get too much on it too much on there and just a little bit on the rim, around the rim I've sprayed dark iron on the uh, side armour and the drive sprocket and the idler wheel and then highlighted with the uh, Tech tan. And I'll apply a uh, worn effects and then uh, spray it with NATO green and do slight chipping on on the sprocket wheel. Okay, I've just completed the uh, shadow coat on the hole and the uh, turret so now I'm ready to um, paint the main colour NATO green I sprayed the um, NATO green might have to go over a bit more some bits I didn't didn't manage to get it's very hard to get every uh, nook and cranny And then after I do that I'll um, <clears throat> do individual panels slightly vary the color in these ones just to break up the monotony of the NATO green I'm just carefully brushing off <clears throat> the uh, some of the green to expose the uh, chipping uh, underneath because I sprayed chipping fluid and then sprayed the the NATO green but I don't, I don't want to chip it too much because I don't want to look too worn I've done around here because it's exposing the um, dark iron <coughs> underneath because I didn't want a reddish brown chipping colour so you can just sort of make out the um, dark iron and the, the other colour. And when I've done that, I'm going to go over some of the panels with different variations of the green just to sort of break up the <coughs> NATO green colour. So I don't know if you can see, it's just basically on the edges and then <coughs> chipping around the hatches. Probably need to <coughs> respray there or do some dust wash or something when I fill these crevices in. Right. So I'm gonna I mask these up. I'm gonna do some variation in the colour, just like in here. This panel, this one just randomly this one here 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 I put down some uh, worn effects on top it's only going to be really subtle variations in the color it's not going to be like black and white or anything like that and I'll do the same on the turret so 
I've painted, I painted some of the panels different variations. Uh, you can see some of them there clearly. Just slight variations, just to break up the um, NATO green. I've done the same on the uh, hole. Pretty hard to see it actually on the camera. I painted the uh, front guard the rubber, the black rubber. And I put a bit of chipping fluid on it and did some chipping effect on those. There's a slight variation here and here. But once I do all the uh, washes and that, it'll all blend in a lot better. I've spray painted the periscopes with uh, SMS magenta rose and then SMS color shift galaxy just masking up these periscopes and then I'm going to paint them with NATO green And then I'll stick them on the uh, commander's hatch after I paint the uh, turret. Okay, I've clear coated and applied all the decals. There wasn't many. And I've fitted all the periscopes, I've removed the liquid mask off the lenses, if you can see that, reflecting there. And the headlamps. And these little, uh, I don't know about the amber, maybe warning lights or something. These little ones on the end here. So next is uh, applying washes. So I'll do that next. And then I'll start fitting all the wheels and tracks back on. I've made a wash using uh, oil based paint, raw sienna, raw umber and Chinese white and I've got like a buff sort of colour. I'm going to use this around the uh, all around here and in the crevices just to uh, represent the buildup of dust <clears throat> just thin it down a bit with the enamel thinners And I'll let it leave it on for about 15 minutes or so. And you can uh, 
wipe it off with uh, one of these or just brush So I'll just apply a little bit at a time this area, let that dry, then wipe it down, clean it up. You have to wait till it dries to see what the effect's like. Okay, so I've applied some streaking grime at the front on, on top here. Or around here these panels and down the front here and on the engine covers <coughs> sorry the fuel caps I've put uh, Tamiya panel line mixed with uh, and then uh, black panel one just to give it a greasy dirty look around the fuel caps and I've done the same thing on the radiator grills here just mixed with uh, panel line brown wash and uh, black panel line just in between the uh, panels here Looks different on the camera. So all the washes and that certainly changes the the base colour, NATO green. So I'll put streaking grime down the side here. Uh, down just the top here. Okay, I'm just going to apply some Europe Earth pigment from MIG and mix it with Vallejo Light Sienna and I'll apply it around here just at the bottom at the back here and just around here I don't want too much. This is still a bit tacky from the uh, when I did the wash, so <clears throat> it'll stick to that.
I'll just at the bottom, I'll just put some at the bottom here. Just wet that a bit. Yeah, that ought to do that. Now, <clears throat> get the wheels on. Just applying the uh, wash to the uh, wheels. The light, <clears throat> the dust wash. And just around the tyre. I'll let those dry then I'll put in some brown panel line just on the nut heads so I've got the I managed to get the tracks wheels back on I had a bit of trouble getting it through here but with a bit of a uh, Persuasion, I managed to get it on. Just had to bend this back a bit to get the actual track under there. That was the hard bit. And then you put that on first, and then the back, back sprocket, and then the road wheels. Alternatively, you can probably the best way would be to leave this. Uh, disconnected and then connect the last link when you've got it on anyway they're on so that's good okay I've got the side armor on got the uh, fuel drums at the back And I've added some fuel stains. Fuel stains on the fuel caps. And the side armor. It's got to uh, do the uh, wash and streak and grime on these. It's the uh, drums. So I've nearly completed that. Then I'll start doing the wash on the turret.
Okay, just doing the washing, uh, the wash on the side armor. So I'll just let that dry, wipe it off, and then do some streaking grime. Then I'll do the other side. So that's uh, pretty much it. I sprayed uh, for the exhaust. I sprayed flat brown to me a flat brown, and then flat black just to give that smoky effect there on the exhaust. And I put the tow cables in. exhaust on that side too so that's pretty much it I just got to give it a flat clear coat and it's done